Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goyne. In today's video, we will talk about how to find the equation of a line given this form. y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1. The name of this form is point slope form. There are different forms in linear equation, but this time, we will be using point slope form. So what is the criteria for us to use the point slope form? Basically, you need the coordinates of a point and the slope. So what we have here is y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1. Here, the variable m represents the slope. x sub 1 and y sub 1 are the coordinates of your point. So let's solve and find the equation of number 1 m is equal to negative 4, and the coordinates of the single point is negative 2, negative 3. So let's copy the given form. y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1. Now guys, in this form, your negative 2, it represents x sub 1. Your negative 3, this one represents your y sub 1. And what we need to do is to substitute the values in the given form. For this variable y and variable x, wala tayong ipapalit dito. Copy y, then minus. Your y sub 1 is negative 3. Since this is negative, we will enclose it by a parenthesis. Then equal to your m which is negative 4, times, this is x, minus, as you can see, your x sub 1 is negative 2. Enclose it by parentheses. Okay. Simplify the, si the signs. Negative times negative is positive. So it will become y plus 3 is equal to negative 4. And this one, before multiplying negative 4 to x, let us simplify negative times negative. So this is times plus 2. So as you can see, plus 2, it came from negative times negative. And we're ready to use distributive property to multiply this. So we have y plus 3 is equal to negative 4 times x is negative 4x. The negative 4 times 2, that is negative 8. So, normally guys, when we are doing equations of the line, we are asked to represent our answer or finalize, finalize our answer in slope-intercept form and in standard form. Yun yung gagawin natin ngayon. Dito, we will transpose negative 3 para makuha natin kanyang slope-intercept form. It will become y is equal to negative 4x minus 8 minus 3. So this is y is equal to negative 4x. This is negative 11 or minus 11. And as you can see, this is the slope-intercept form. Now let's go with the standard form. As for the standard form, guys, let me adjust the paper. For the standard form, we will transpose negative 4x to the other side. It will become positive 4x. So, the standard form is 4x plus y is equal to negative 11. Okay? These are the two forms na meron tayo. So, you hope na nakuha niyo yung pattern natin on how to use the point slope form using the slope and the coordinates of a single point. Now let's move on to item number 2. For number 2, your m is a fraction, but don't worry, kaya kaya yan. Then the coordinates of the point is 2 and 4. This is your x sub 1. And this is your y sub 1. So using the formula, let us substitute directly. So y, copy y, minus your y sub 1 is 4. Since that is positive, simply put 4. Is equal to 1 half 
times x minus your x sub 1, which is equal to 2. So what we need here is that there are plenty of ways on how to continue this. Ako, what I need to do is I will eliminate first this denominator. What I need to do before doing a uh, distributive property, I will eliminate this denominator. So I will multiply the whole equation by the denominator 2. And this is 2. 2 times y is 2y. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. And this one, this part, this part is, cons is considered as a single term. So once long time, we multiply. Multiply this. So kapag multiply man dito, sa huli na to, makakansa na natin yung, x, yung 2 and 2. So what will remain is equal to 1 times x minus 2. Pero since 1 lang naman to, this one is the same as, oh sorry, let me remove the variable x here. This is not included, ha guys? This is not included. Yan. We only have 2y minus 8. And then, that is 2y minus 8 is equal to multiply 1, that is x minus 2. What's next here is we will transpose this to the other side. So we have 2y is equal to x minus 2. From negative, it will become positive, so plus 8. So this is 2y is equal to x plus 6. And to finally get the slope intercept form divided by 2, cancel, your y is equal to x over 2 plus 6 divided by 2, which is equal to 3. This is now the slope intercept form. And then for the standard form, ito yung gagamitin ko. The standard form ito. Originally, we have, diba kanina, we have 2y is equal to x plus 6. I will transpose this here. It will become negative x plus 2y is equal to 6. And then, since as you can see, this is negative, to make it positive, kailangan kasi positive yung first term. Multiply the whole equation by negative 1. So, what will happen here, it will change all the sign of the terms. So, we have x minus 2y is equal to negative 6. And this is now the standard form. So, I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to use the point slope form in finding the equation of a line. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!